congratulations on another Thank Malaysian you. collaboration. Yay, we yeah. love it. Oh, you know, we love it. Co collaborate more with Malaysia, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, you must really love us, huh? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a real love for Malaysia, obviously, you know. Awesome. Simon, what does this song mean to you? It's for me, it's about spreading, um, giving something to someone else, like I said, because you should and because you can. Um, and for me, it's, it's a powerful message. It's a powerful message that we all need to really, really take heed. What first came to mind when you when you heard the tune? For me, it was just a chance to be a part of something special. Um, first of all, I've got a love for Malaysia. Universal, I'm signed to, um, who did my last single. They approached me, and before they finished the sentence, I said yes. Oh, brilliant. Thank wow. you. It was a chance to go out there and, like I say, give something back. I'm sitting in my house anyway, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, you know, why why not yeah, yeah. Do, do something positive and do something I love and, um, you know, and be a part of the new era as well. You know, and I'm sure you're feeling that in the UK, in Malaysia, we've had like 500 plus days of some form of lockdown now. And people are affected in many forms of ways. Um, the unfortunate death toll because of COVID seems to be, you know, increasing. And, and we all know personally somebody who has lost somebody because mm -hmm. of COVID. So what kind of advice would you give to people who are going through grief? I think uh, people need to know that the power is within you. You have the strength, even though, you know, we have a lot of distractions. We have a lot of things where people need, we, we feel like we need someone else to heal us. What we actually need to do is heal ourselves. Tell ourselves that we are strong, we are positive. We, ha we, are, we have a clean heart. And when you have those things in mind, I think just like I say, when you take each day as it comes, you know, that, that is the message that I would like to give to people out there. You know, you can, there's nothing you can't do. And what you're feeling now, when, is an, when, when you're feeling down, the only way is up. You, you said that motivation, look at the positive side of things. Is this how you also deal with sometimes things that trigger different things? I think not allowing the triggers to be there in the first place I think prevention is better than cure and I think like I say if you give yourself a schedule I like to re I'm actually now um, in the process of uh, I'm training for a boxing match this is wow. something on my bucket list yeah you know three through about two years ago I couldn't swim I had the opportunity to learn to swim in three months and then I swam the English Channel no, no. Wait, wait. whoa Champion. Champion. English Channel. These, these are these are things that I these are things that I used to say to myself. I can't do. There's no way I will get into the sea yeah. with creatures <laughs> at night in the dark and put my face in that water. There's just no way. But then when I got through it, I've just proved something to myself. Like we are all capable of doing those things we think we can't. Yeah. So those, tri those triggers that like you're talking about is is knowing what the triggers are and finding things that can take you away from those the triggers to make you feel better, to make you see that you've got, you've gotten over that uh, yeah. hurdle, so to speak. Have you always been, okay, two questions here. Have you always been the kind of guy who notices that, oh gosh, I'm afraid of that and really just push yourself towards it? That's number one. And number two, um, you know, imposter syndrome, that's when you're feeling like you, you don't deserve the things that you get in life, right? And a lot of people have it. And no matter at what level you are in life, you think that one day people are going to find out that I've been a fraud and I shouldn't have been here all along. Do you feel it? And how do you handle it? First of all, I'll answer questions. the second question first. I felt that from the beginning of Blue. But people will say, oh, you know, the overnight success. It wasn't overnight. It was 21 years of dreaming of becoming something that my mother could be proud of. Once I got there and I saw like a million pounds in my bank, I was like, I'm a guy that used to get a check off the government. How the hell am I supposed to deal with a million quid? So uh, then I was like, no, I don't deserve it. The place I'm from, I'm from poverty. So how the hell, my people back there, they haven't got this. So I started giving it out, I started giving people jobs. I couldn't, I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't look after myself within that. So yes, I have had that. Um, luckily for me, I've, I've, I've got a band that's lasted 20 years, so I've had a second chance to get it all back. <laughs> <laughs> Normally the way I should. But that, that I think that, become, that comes from youth, that comes from telling yourself you're not worthy, looking at your circumstances of what you've grown up in and wanting to do better. And when you do, do, when you do reach your targets is what is the next target? And when you don't know what the, that next target is, that's when depression can hit in kick in as well so you know 
I've, I've been through quite a lot in the last 20 years with the roller coasters. And so when it comes down to facing the fears, going back to your first question, who am I to turn around and not face my fears? Because I'm in a position where people do look up to me and do look at what I do and see how I handle certain situations. And I have to carry myself in a certain way. And I like that responsibility because it gives me something, at least it lets me know that I'm doing something positive, no matter if there's something negative that I've done or said or thought, there is still a lot of positivity in my life. And there's some people out there that I can help. Thank you so much for chatting with us again, Simon, and congratulations on the new song, the new collabo here with Malaysia. All right, thanks for supporting the track as well. Mm -hmm.